care much at what is happening to them, what they eat, where they sleep, or why they are there. Maybe we are bothered about our expensive handsets, our bags, or the thought that they might hurt us. Passing through the streets of Isli, particularly 12th streets, we encountered some residents who were able to talk to us about the plight of street children in Isli. My name is Ahmed Mohamed Bashir, I'm from Nairobi County. I have seen I observe many, very many children uh, who are in Nairobi, street children. So whenever I pass with them, I do help them. I do, I do buy for them some water. And the other thing, uh, street, uh, street children more becoming exorbitant. Now, Mr. Ahmed, country. if I ask you, where do you think the parents of these children are? Uh, that's the question we have been asking ourselves. You see, we find them just uh, meandering and just sleeping uh, in the street of uh, Nairobi. So we cannot uh, identify. Now you as a resident of this county, Nairobi, particularly Sli, did you see any kind of help <laughs> given to these children? Yeah, yeah. I have seen so many people helping them. Some they do buy for them foods, they bring for them clothes, uh, they buy for them water. They even give them some money so that they can buy something for themselves. Now, what's your take? How could you have addressed the government about the plight of these three children? Uh, first, it is becoming more exorbitant, street children in, in Kenya. So it could have been better for the country to initiate some fun for, the, for these dying children. Now, you have told us you have a political aspiration. Yeah. You, as like an MCA aspirant, if you are like the MCA for Ishli, how could you have helped these children, built them a home? How, how could you have addressed the issue? First, I could have uh, fundraised them. Secondly, I could have uh, educated them. I could have uh, put a lot of things in place. So, so that, uh, you know, they are human beings like us. They are human beings like us. So we should think of positive for them. Now in the Kenya constitution, there is that section for the Children's Act. Do you think that section is violated? And now these children are mistreated in the streets? I can see, you know, uh, the, streets are, the street children are becoming more. So we cannot uh, say that uh, the, they still follow the procedure and the, and the, and the constitution law. No. We cannot uh, say that uh, the constitution has been followed because of these children. In your life here as a resident, yeah. did you ever buy a clothes or yeah. shoes for any of these street children? Whenever I, when I, whenever I saw them, I do help them, I do give them some money, I do even buy for them some water. So, in fact, uh, I do appreciate them helping them. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can I have been I have been here. I have been here. I have I have been here. I have been I have been Watoto 
yuko wako na shida mmoja ana gogo ni mawe pale anakuja kusema ateni gari na kukanyanga sasa hiyo ndio shida mingi sana sasa wote wanataka wanakuja wanafuata pota watu nisaidie wanashikashika watu na ni mbaya sana kuna mtu yote kutoka serikali ama mwenye aliwahi kuja kuwajengea nyumba ama kuwasaidia kwa namna yote sijawahi ona lakini na saidi na rango wasuri wanakuja eh wasuri tu ndio naona wakuja wanachukua picha wanachukua tu picha hakuna usaidizi yote hakuna usaidizi yote iko kijana yote ama mtu yote unajua ambaye anaka hapa na ulikuwa namjua kutoka zamani alikuwa mtu anaishi maisha mzuri unajua ni kama wanaishi wao hapo wanaenda wanaishi watu wao wanaenda wanaacha kubeba imba kwenye kulia sasa wewe kama mama ambaye anaka hapa na mama mwenye uko na watoto uko na hiyo utu Ungeambia aje serikali wasaidia watoto ama mtu yote ambaye anaweza wasamaria mwema. Ningetaka geoba serikali ya watoto waonyeshwe hata kama ni mahali wanaweza kaa pamoja. Unajua kasi ni mingi sana wafundishwe kasi ya mkono mkono Aha, katika tio na patio chakula wanaoga sisi wawe wakubwa kubwa. Yes. Asante sana. Ah, kanga pa raunda. Na ataka tuleto maji raunda. Atutenge watu nyumba. Nangua jua machande. Chande ni kwa wiki. Ani kipata jambo. Ni kipata. Ya biere. Alikuwa Uh, my name is Yunis Deko. I'm a resident here at Isle. And actually I'm pleased to talk on behalf of uh, these two children. The, the problem they are facing is, uh, is quite um, very many. But you know, the government, you know, we are told the government uh, is, is, has uh, rehabilitation programs, especially on that, uh, the coastal part of the country. But if those rehabilitation centers and those procedures are taken here in Isle, I think uh, it can change the life of these children. Like one of the boys was telling me yesterday that he needs to study. You know, th th those are fundamental things the government should work on. You know, any all children in this country uh, should go to school. Even still, children have their right. You know, apart from them being abandoned by their parents and their family members, the government should now come in and help each and every of these children. Especially especially uh, those in this part of the country where you know they feel that they, they, they are second class citizens you know the, when, when the government comes in and changes uh, a bit of uh, uh, the, 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 the children's perspective and their mind I think it can help even uh, uh, the, the, it can help the, the, the government curb even radicalization these children out here they're exposed to this sun and this cold somebody can easily radicalize them so so so, so rehabilitating them and you know taking them to rehabilitation centers can actually uh, change the perspective and the angle that people see these children, uh, especially here in Italy and, and in all parts of Nairobi. We are told there are more than two million uh, still children in Kenya, in the whole of Kenya. So, so the government should do what it did uh, when actually Obama, when Obama visited, the government took all street children out of the streets and you know, uh, but again, when Obama left, we, 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 we abandoned them. So, so this need to change, you know, for, for the betterment of each and every one of us so, so for peaceful coexistence you know you know when 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 these children come to you you know you're not secure you're not safe you're not safe, you're not safe you know. so i think the government sh sh should do something on this thank you mr Innes.